Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a timetable on Notion on 2023. So, of course Notion will help you stay organized and manage your schedule and a lot of other stuff that you will see through this video. So, make sure to stick by, let's dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial step to. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section, simply type notion.com and hit the enter button. Uh, and of course, once you're logged into your account, as an example, if you have an account, you can simply go and log into it. If you don't have an account, you can simply go and create an account for yourself. And of course, it's going to be pretty simple. You can simply click on sign up, uh, register or, or uh, get started and follow the prompts, enter your credentials to uh, create an account for yourself. And let's say uh, you don't want to do this. Of course, you don't want to go through all the boring steps of creating or logging into your account. There is an option to use like with your Google account. If you have a Google account, a Gmail account or something like that, you'll be able to use it to log in into your account or even create your account on Notion, which will prevent you from doing all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. Once you do so, you will normally find yourself on this getting started page. And here we will start. So let's start by creating a new page. Go to this list panel, of course, and set up a new page for yourself by clicking on this plus button or add page. And as you can see here, you'll be able even to import some data if you have like some data on your PC. If you click on import, as you can see, you'll be able to import it from diff different like uh, websites like Asana, uh, Google Docs, HTML, if you have like some HTML code, Word, and a lot of other stuff. Of course, you can even go and upload like a, C a CSV file from your PC or even HTML code from your PC or as you can see, docs code from your PC so everything will be uploaded from your PC but some applications like as you can see this Trello, this Dr no Dropbox is not so as you can see those uh, options you'll have to go and connect your account into it or uh, log into your account here and then import whatever you want from those websites of course you can even go click here on template and use one of the people templates here so for the to-do list, you have these templates. For the projects and tasks, you have those templates. Uh, for us, we would like uh, to create a timetable. So we will, we can simply go here and type like time, timetable. If we didn't find, so we can simply uh, go and type table as an example. If we didn't find, it's fine. We can simply go instead of this work as an example, go for projects or uh, personal or something like that or docs. And of course, we may find here like some tables. Of course, if we didn't find, it's not going to be a big difference. We can simply go and create our own table or board or timeline or even calendar, uh, which is a kind of calendar is kind of a timetable. If you want to create a calendar, you can simply click on it, then click on new database instead of like of those options. Of course, you can use them if you want to like for recipes for something like that. If you don't want to use them, you can go and click like as example instead of this. So let me just go uh, not duplicate. I meant to delete. So let's example. Let me just delete all of those. Let me even delete this. And here is an example. Uh, click on new database. And as you can see, you'll be able to go and do so. Of course. Uh, so let's just go and create a new page. Example calendar. Which can you see here? It's normally it's automatically a time uh, table. So you have the time or actually the dates and you can even go and add to this tags or this title the, 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 the time of it if you want to. And of course, if you don't want to use the calendar, it's not a big deal. So let's just delete this page, go and create another page, go to the table and here, let's just go and click on new database. So here, once you create our table, we'll be able to customize this table. So go and customize your timetable however you want. Once you add it like, your table, you'll be able to give it first, first of all a title. So let's just go and name it time table. Then go here and add whatever you want on it. Of course, you can go and add as many columns as you want. 
by clicking on this plus button you can even use like some ai tools that will help you you can give it uh, like dates you can go and add even lines not just columns if you want to and a lot of other stuff if here you'll be able to ca calculate if you want to if you want to calculate like something in your lines or something in your columns not going to be a big deal you can even go and create a new one if you didn't like this table you can go and create a new table you can even go and replicate or duplicate this table if you like it or you want just to change uh, on it uh, just a little bit of details that you want to change you'll be able to do it so simply go and customize your table however you want of course your timetable then of course it comes the fun part so populating which is so populating your timetable with your schedule so you can start by filling in the days of the week and time slots then you, of course you can add your activities classes appointments or any other events you want to track you can even go and add any details or and for maintenance example so to make sure your same table and uh, more informative individually appealing you can add addition, additional details example and formatting of course notion all, all always will allow you to customize your text styles and apply any colors if you want to and of course even uh, add like icons or emojis to your timetable and of course to make it easier to navigate your timetable you can utilize filters and view in notion and of course the this filters will uh, help like uh, of course you can uh, filter your timetable based on your specific days uh, classes or activities and creates different views on focus uh, of course you can even focus like on different aspects on your schedule so as you can see here's the filter you'll be able to filter by name dates or tags uh, you can go and use a lot of things here on this drop down menu or sorry on this three dots i missed and of course uh, sorry i pressed f12 by mistake so here you can go of course familiarize yourself with notion if you are not that good with it of course you can even go and become pro professional on it if you want to of course, uh, like a lot of people don't know how to use your Notion, so you may like offer your help if you want to uh, on other people, which you which are gonna be paid and a lot of other stuff like that. So once you finish editing and customizing and everything in your timetable, you'll be able to share it with other people. So click on the share button or even publish it if you want. You can publish it on the web. So here you can go and copy the link from here and invite people to see your timetable. And as you can see, you can uh, click on this anyone with the link in this and my name Notion or everyone in my Notion will be able to see it or just the invite only. Or you can simply add the people or groups or emails from here if they are your friends in Notion. You can even go, uh, as an example, not even sharing. Uh, of course, sharing will allow people like to view those things. You can even go and add members to your accounts. And in members to your accounts, not, not all will just allow them to view. You can give them some permissions if you want them to edit your uh, timetable for you. If you are like a boss of our company or something like that, uh, this could be made. So that's it normally. So if you reach this point of this video, congratulations. Uh, there you have it. Fully customized same table notion to help you like stay organized and manage your schedule. Whether you are a student professional or just someone looking for a better organization organization for your uh, work, uh, school, whatever it is, of course, uh, the Notion provides a flexible, initiative way to create your uh, table or timetable. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.